Hey guys. Um, so I've had a bit of time on my hands lately, so I decided to create a four LED sketch uh, for the Samco light gun, um, mainly to just reduce the distance that the uh, Samco light gun uh, will work at. Uh, so I'm going to use this little animation here to um, hopefully illustrate that. Um, so with one sensor bar as in the current Samco setup, um, using the light gun at this range you can see that you will never actually be able to get the range to the bottom of the screen. Um, however, if we add a second sensor bar and upload my new code, you can see uh, we now get the full range uh, of movement for our light gun. Uh, effectively reducing the working distance from two and a half screen widths to about one and a half screen widths. Um, so I'll quickly show you um, some a processing sketch that uh, I made up that will hopefully demonstrate it a bit better. Uh, so this is the processor sketch. Um, so the grey box in the middle is uh, what the camera can actually see and the black bits around the edge will show um, how those points are recreated if we go out of the camera's range. So when the sensors go out of range, the code uses uh, whatever information it has or pre-saved distances and angles to recreate the dots. Uh, then it uses all four of those dots to create a median. And then the last step is uh, the tilt correction from the original code. So as you can see, we now have a full range of motion. Um, another cool thing is if we leave the screen and come back in from the same angle, um, that calibration is saved as well. So um it's, it's good for um, games where you have to shoot off screen to load um there are a couple of ways to make a glitch uh, for example if i tilt the gun too far to the left or right or if i try to come back in from um, a different angle that i left the screen from but generally it's um pretty stable and it will always reset um, whenever it sees four LEDs uh, anyway. So even if you do get a slight glitch, it's going to fix itself up pretty much straight away. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, show you a quick look at the code uh, and also show you how to update your um, current light gun if you've got one. Uh, so here's the new code. Um, it's actually pretty similar to the original Samco code, um, just with a new library I've created uh, added in there, which uh, does all the repositioning for the four infrared LEDs. Um, so we're still using the DF robot positioning library to uh, get our points directly from the camera. And the cool thing with that is if we scroll down to uh, the get position part of the sketch, we can see that those values are being imported into my new library, uh, which is cool because that means even if you're not using um, a DF robot IR positioning camera, like maybe you've um, created your own through um, an old Wiimote or something like that, uh, you can still import those values uh, into my library quite easily. Um, apart from that, it's um, pretty similar. So if we just upload the sketch, uh, let it go through its process, um, then it works basically exactly the same way. So if I push the calibration button, pull the trigger, shoot to the top left, shoot to the bottom right, I am calibrated. Um, and that's it. Um, all these files, uh, including test sketch and all that, um, are uploaded now on my GitHub. Um, and there is also a folder in there for the old um, original Samco. So if you've got an original Samco, um, you can easily upload this sketch and you'll have um, a four LED system. Um, so that's it for now. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, give us a like, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've still got plenty of videos to make. I'm still working on my GunCon 2 video. 
Um, so yeah, if you don't want to miss out on any of those, um, make sure you subscribe. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.